Hi guys, this is Jeremy here, Lead IC at Lumina Grand. Today, we are having an episode of EC Made Easy. In today's session, we'll be touching on EC eligibility. And the first category I would like to share on is Fiancé Fiancé. So many of our buyers who are first timers, they would fall under this category. The next one will be husband and wife, spouses. So they, this would be Singapore citizen and perhaps a Singapore citizen or a SPR wife, right, together they can purchase an EC. If they are Singapore citizen and a foreign wife, then they would need to have an offspring, a child, who is a Singapore citizen or an SPR, then together they can form an eligible family nucleus. Next, we have parent and child. For parent and child, it will be an adult applicant with either a parent or a child. And in this case, usually the parent, they might be widowed or divorced, and therefore they need to have a family. They need to have a family home together with their child. And that's why they would qualify for EC as well. So, to sum up for these three schemes, Singapore citizen, SC plus SC, SP plus SPR, all okay. SC plus non-citizen, NC, plus SC or SPR child, also okay. But if it is SPR plus SPR, even if they have crossed three years, no, SPR not eligible. SC and non-citizen also not eligible. So next, joint single scheme. So this is something that we see more and more nowadays. For the joint single scheme, they would both need to be above 35 years old, they would both need to be Singapore citizens, and they would both need to be listed as applicants for the EC. And finally, and this is a bit more rare, it will be the orphan scheme. For the orphan scheme, they would not need to be 35 years old, just above 21 and Singapore citizens, that is fine. However, there will be two scenarios for orphan scheme as well. One would be orphan scheme from the same family unit. That means both of their parents, both who are SC or SPR, they have deceased. And then the Singapore citizen child, right? All of them who are single, right? They will need to be listed together in the application for those who are in the same family unit. For those who are in separate family units, that, and that's also possible, then they can also come together to purchase under this orphan scheme. So in the next slide, this is where we'll give you a little bit more specifics for scenarios uh, for the five eligibility schemes that we have touched on. Okay, so without further ado, let's head over to our quiz segment. Quiz time! George, Singapore citizen, and Charlotte SC, they are getting married in 2025. Can they buy an EC? Yes. They will purchase under the fiancé fiancé scheme. Next. John, SPR, Kelly, SPR, they got their PR in 2015, got married in 2018, that means they're husband and wife now, and they inquire about MOP listing in Bukit Batok. And then, while there, they ask you about an EC. Can they buy an EC? No, they will need to have a SC family nucleus. Next, Tommy, Singapore citizen, and his wife Natasha, non-citizen, they are staying in a resale flat that reached MOP in 2023. Can they buy an EC? No, because in this scenario, SC plus NC. However, if they have a daughter, Regina, can they buy an EC? Yes, because now they will form a Singapore family nucleus. Finally, Brooklyn 36, Harper 35, best friends. They want to purchase an EC together. Can they? Yes, they will purchase under the joint single scheme. So, this is today's session of EC eligibility. This is Jeremy Tan and I look forward to see you at Lumina Grand Launch.